Yeah. What's some damn sugar for, man? This was one of my homeboys, though. He was like probably like nine, ten years old. I guess he was eating them Cheerios. You know, but look at this creature in his deck of life, 14 chapter. So it says, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. You know what? First, let me get the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. This is the man not going to have any pity upon his neighbor. Let's see what that's going into. All right. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. Once again, the Lord speaking to the disciples. It says, and because iniquity shall abound. What's iniquity? Sin upon sin upon sin. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What does it mean the love of many gonna wax cold? What that's saying is, people that you thought had once had love for you, they're gonna be cold hearted, so to speak. They're gonna be straight up cold hearted, straight up cutthroats. They ain't gonna give a damn if they went to school with you. They don't give a damn if that's your mother, if that's your father. They see your father, they see your father eating a damn croissant. You better believe they're gonna knock him upside the damn head with a center block and take it from him. Yeah. Yeah. What's niggas' favorite line? Niggas gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, niggas gotta <laughs> eat. That's why Joe Salente said this quote, which the elder to always brings out. He says, um, when people lose everything and they have nothing to lose, what do they do? They lose it. <laughs> they lose it. <laughs> so when people lose everything, they lose their family, they got no food, no money. When they lose everything, there's nothing left for them to lose, they lose it. Meaning, they lose their head. Yeah. Not literally, but people are literally going to lose their heads, meaning they're going to lose their mind. They're yeah. going to lose all sense of reasoning. All sense of reasoning. All sense of lo of so-called, what you call, logical thinking. They're going to lose it, man. Huh? They're going to lose it. You're going to see people out here eating the grass off the ground. Eating people and stuff. That's why I said love of many going to wax cold, man. Love of many going to wax cold, meaning they, 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 gonna, they not going to care if, they, if you're their best friend, if you're their brother or sister. If this person's brother, sister, mother, father, grandmother, grandfather, they're not going to care. The love of many going to wax cold. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor. And he's going to kill you in order for him to live. If you got to die in order for him to live, then you better believe you're going to die. Yeah. That's right. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Let's get that. That's Zechariah 14 chapter. Zechariah 14 and 1. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the house is rifled. What that mean, the house is going to be rifled? I mean, when you look up that word rifle, when it says the house is going to be rifled, it means to be searched through. Yeah. When, some, when somebody... Like first, quickly. Yeah, quick, exactly. Yeah. To be searched through quickly. Like, you ever watch the movie? They, they in their house, everything's all right. They upstairs, but they hear somebody searching through the cupboard. Mm -hmm. they, like they hear, they just start hearing stuff like, yeah, like in the drawer, papers moving around, yeah. cups falling. Then you wake up, back, then you wake up, <sighs> looking around, all scared. That's how it's gonna be. Yeah, they're gonna be rifling your house, man. That's why they got the um a gun called the, the rifle gun. Yeah, you know, they're gonna be rifling your house. They're gonna rifle your house, man. They're gonna be rifling your refrigerator, rifling the drawer, taking clothes, yeah. taking food, taking water, taking bread, taking anything that they can find that will be beneficial to them because of the times is hard. Yep. You know what I'm saying? No, no, oh, right. It says, um, oh, I'm looking to you here. And the house is rightful and the woman ravished. What does that mean, woman ravished? That means rape. So, all hell breaks loose in this society. And in America becomes a third world country, which is becoming women gonna be getting raped out here, man. Yeah. And they gonna be none of that strong black woman show no hell break loose. Ain't gonna be none of that shit going on, man. <laughs> I know. And that's and that's how it's gonna be out here. That's how it's gonna be out here, man. I'm laughing because it's email. That's how it's gonna be out here, man. Women gonna be getting raped in these streets, man. It's a hard thing to hit. <laughs> It's a hard thing to hear, to, to hear but that's just gonna happen. You no, know, like for example, we gotta tell you straight. We gotta, we gotta tell you straight up, man. We we just coming out straight raw. When we gonna be getting raped out here, man? What the hell you think happens when all law when when 
when, when, when they call it shit hit the fan in a world without rule of law and all law and order is disrupt, disrupted what do you think these women are going to be doing out here man you think a man come to you and say oh baby you want to go to the movie and see Toy Story 3 or see Finding Nemo Part 2 yep and nah it, man ain't nobody going to be putting on Keith Sweat CDs man <laughs> Like, like, they gonna take what they want. That's right. Like that was always bring out that these women, they they gonna, they gonna become the new commodity. Yeah, the new right? commodity. Yeah. When this, this this currency crashes, the new commodity is gonna be these women. Yeah. And how they gonna get these women? They are gonna be grabbed up and they are gonna be sold. So yeah. They they're gonna they gonna turn these these women to prostitutes to yeah. get the needs that they 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 need to survive. Yeah. That's what happens. So a woman, you gonna be broken down to your true position in life to be under a damn man, right? And they gonna be none of that strong woman shit, man. I'm independent and stuff. Right. And they gonna be having, they gonna have these, um, they gonna use these women to, you know, seduce a lot of guys yeah. just, to, just to rob them. They show you that in the movie, the um, um, what was it with Denzel, Denzel Washington? You know, for you, for you, um, you soft niggas. You know, they always want to protect the woman. Yeah. So you gonna have women gonna screaming like, yeah. out, help, help, somebody help me. But really, she, they gonna set her up. This, this this a cat you weak niggas man, yeah. and then a bunch of a bunch of goons gonna come out the bushes and grab you up and rob you and eat you. Yeah. And then eat you man. All right. So it says the house is rightful when the woman ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. All right, let me jump back to this. How much time you got? Up? About like we good for like another ten minutes. Oh, here's um. I have that long? Yeah, it's almost an hour. Alright. Well, I'm trying to speed through it a little bit. If not, we, like we had, like I did it before, we have to put it up, the next part up like a week later or something like that. So it might just continue, you know, and put the next part up like a week later or something. But, um, it says, um, in 2 Corinthians 15, 19, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy his what is a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Because of the lack of bread, because there's going to be a famine out here. That's clear and to the point. And for great tribulation. So there's going to be great tribulation going on in this country. There's going to be great tribulation going on. So, people, so in order for the people to survive the great tribu tribu tribulation, they got to survive it through your life being taken. Look at the book of Isaiah 13 and 6. I think it's going back into that rape thing. Isaiah 13.16 13, I'm sorry Isaiah 13.16 Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes Their houses shall be spoiled And their wives ravaged That's, that's clear as day We gotta break that down again okay, right People gonna be getting kidnapped Yep Kidnapped, tortured, raped Yep Their feet cut off, hands cut off, fingers cut off Let's see um Go to the book of uh, go to Second Ezra 16 now. Let's see if there's more. It should be, I believe there's more in this chapter. I'm gonna go to Second Ezra 16 and um, 17 now. All right, Second Ezra 16 and 17. It says, um, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days?" Oh, damn, that was that. Let me go over there. It says, "Woe is me! Woe is me!" Who shall deliver me in those days? Alright, um, the beginning of sorrow and great mourning, and the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. So this is the beginning of sorrow, it's just the beginning of sorrows and mourning. Alright? The beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do? When these things shall come, and notice it said, the power shall stand in great fear. Who are the powers going to stand in great fear? The rulers of the society, man. They're going to stand in great fear. You know, how big because it's going to be something that they can't control. They're going to, they're going to know that it's the Heavenly Father that's doing it. Alright? Verse 19. Behold, famine. Nosy ass fucking devils, man. Nosy ass peck of wood. That's alright. Let, huh? let, let, let him hear his destruction. Second, in in park like this, you have people jumping out the bushes, man, trying to rape women. Man. So you women, you better be on your p's and q's.